Hello, I'm Tao, and today I'll be talking about Japan. But before I start, I'd like to mention that all of my videos have both English and Serbian subtitles. Just uh, click on the settings and set it up, and you're good to go. So, let's start. As I mentioned in my previous video, the link is up here, uh, I expressed the wish to go to Japan and possibly live there. The most frequent question is why? Why Japan? There are many reasons to it, but the bottom line is their mentality. I feel like um, I feel that their mentality is similar to mine. Regardless of being deaf, uh, regardless of being deaf, I've never felt like I truly belong. I'm not complaining about life. I love my childhood the way it was, the way it is. Um, and the growing up, and growing up certainly had its uh, difficulties and excitement at the same time. But honestly, I always felt out of place. When that feeling grew stronger, I got depressed. During that time, I isolated myself uh, from society, from uh, everyone. I just shut myself in the house and uh, explored the marvelous, marvelous world of internet. That's where I discovered animes. <laughs> animes. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you all now like... Animes, what does it got to do with anything? Those are just cartoons. No. No. No, 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 no. First of all, first of all, animes are not cartoons. No. The word anime is a Japanese term for animation, which means all forms of animated media. So, not cartoon. Animes have varieties of themes, but almost all of them have uh, the same moral story, other than a good versus evil thing that's always in there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so on. <laughs> anyway, uh, the moral story that uh, most of the animes have is uh, that the weakest, even the weakest one of us can uh, achieve, can handle anything, can do anything, as long as they set up their minds, right? Now, as you recall, I was depressed at the time, and uh, those animes actually had a huge impact on me and uh, made me curious about Japan itself. So that's where the extensive research began. I discovered the beauty of Japan's uh, poetry through their uh, national game called Karuta. Following that, the beauty of their visual art, since I'm an artist myself, <laughs> I watched the varieties of animes in order to uh, study different drawing styles. That certainly improved my skills as a graphic designer. At some point, at some point, I felt the need to get out the house and just start working on it to make that dream, that wish, become a reality. I started learning Japanese. <laughs> you want to hear something? Konnichiwa, watashi no namae wa Teodora desu. Hajime mashite. As you can see, I'm pretty serious about it. Regardless of being a desire, it is also a big, big challenge. Like, make it or break it kind of challenge. Why make it or break it? Well, well, that's because I've literally never done anything important without the help of family, friends, or strangers, or whatever. I've always had some sort of assistant, assistance, and, uh, well, I had to change that. I wanted, I needed to change that. It hit me in the head when... Uh, most of my childhood and uh, high school friends uh, got married and or have children. And here I am, still living in my family home, working online, working from home, and doing this and that, slowly wasting my life and uh, approaching the big three, oh, 
30. The big 30. Oh my God. Okay. Something had to change. So I made up my mind. I will become an independent woman in every aspect of my life. Past couple of years I've been working on that and uh, hopefully I made some progress. Obviously we'll see just how much when I go to Japan. I honestly feel that good things are bound to happen one way or another. <laughs> so to recap, the main reasons for going to Japan in order of their importance are one, to test myself as in make it or break it. Two, to find a place where I belong. Three, to experience new culture, different mindset, values and habits as a both deaf and hearing girl. Well, that's all for today. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, like button, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye! See ya!